Look at this. These campuses have been pillaged so many times. We can start to get out universities now, though, which is... So, like, in terms of science, we're actually not doing that bad. As much as I've just absolutely raged this game about the campuses being pillaged, you know, 39% of the time. That's not even a high percentage, but, you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> but as much as I've raged about this, we're honestly... We're still doing, like, fairly fine in terms of... Actually, you know, having stuff. Having decent stuff going on for us this game. We're obviously, you know, we're not, like, leading science, but we're also not, like, just doing absolutely terrible. Just, like, 90% terrible. Um, I think the play is we actually, we need to get, or we don't need to get, but we want to get Mausoleum. So let's put down a harbor over here, and we can hopefully build it there. I don't, it might have already been built already, for all I know, but. Okay. There it is. Finally. Finally. The bane of my existence. Oh, well, Coupe is even here to help. We are gonna throw. We're literally throwing a party whenever this. Whenever I kill this barbon cannon. Wait, is this all the settlers we need? Uh, one, two. No, we still need one more, right? Yeah, we need one more. Um. Just built another crossbowman. Maybe we can still try to snag our builder over here. <laughs> Watch them just spawn like three coursers now. Oh, they have—they do have a caravel over there. Okay, wait. I can do it this turn, right? Oh no, I can't move there. Now it's going to spawn a, a Courser, and it's going to, like, kill all my units or something. <laughs> hey, we got our Builder back. All right, things are looking up now, right? No. <laughs> well, slightly more than before, honestly, but still not the best in the world. Jump, boom, boom, boom. All right, what do we want for text? We need to get to industrialization. If we can get a good Roar Valley, that'd be pretty sick. Okay, let's build an Opium in the capital as well. Where's the best spot for it? Um, uh, not none of these are really that good. Actually, this one's slightly better. That'll at least be a plus three. I think. Maybe. I don't know. Does the quarry count? I don't think a quarry counts towards a mine. So I suppose I am a bit wrong. But. All right, ready? Here we go. Here we go. Woo! We finally did it. Oh, man. <laughs> I have, as I mentioned before, I have not been that tilted at a game of Civ in a long time. I cannot imagine anything. Like, that was like peak tilt for me. It doesn't get more more angry saxy. That, that doesn't really exist past what we just saw here. God, that was infuriating. <laughs> the fact that they started getting coursers, too. I was like, are you serious? It's like, you have to be joking. Alright, we don't really want that. We want mercantilism, I think. We need to go through medieval fairs first. Okay, okay. The dream is now here. Dream of what, you may ask? Not raging at Civ. So many of these coastal cities have actually been quite useless, haven't they? Now, though, we're getting ready to actually do things. We can just get out a lot of builders all around, improve a bunch of tiles... Put down a bunch of districts, bada bing, bada boom. Bob's your uncle, as they say. I still have to pay everybody to be my friend. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't. I don't have to pay Coupe to be my friend. That's good. Oh, Nora Suleiman. Watch, Dido's now gonna come attack me or something. It's like, oh, you've just finished dealing with barbarians? I have an idea. We still do need one more settler. Just don't have the <laughs> the mental strength to be able to... Alright, it only takes 11 turns, actually. That's not bad. Let's chop this, and then let's replace that with a... Okay, so actually, that's not going to go there. We will replace that with a campus. Uh, also, can I just point out this name? Just... I'm not going to call too much of attention to it, but <laughs> just just read this name. 
And if you speak English, you'll be moderately offended. <laughs> Maybe not offended, but you know what I mean. Surely you must catch my drift, as they say. All right, our science is actually starting to get up there now, which is really cool. Really cool indeed. And we can get an opium over here. So right now it's sitting at a plus four. We do, this sieve needs a lot of builders, I feel. Right, we don't want to change, we're eventually gonna get rid of that, but not quite yet. And we want exploration so we can change our governments. We're gonna, we wanna eventually get the vertical integration, since, especially since we're gonna have so many industrial zones this game. Get down another opium over here. And over here, yeah, let's prepare to get the one over here as well, I guess. Could build Hoite Okali. It's not really that, it's not really a great Hoite Okali city. Get some workshops going. How are we doing on the harbor over here? One more turn till that. Not all, who all right, is Mausoleum still available? It actually is. I'm gonna buy a builder as well and maybe put down a few more mines. Hopefully that'll speed up the production of Mausoleum a little bit. So that's a good opium. This is a very good opium. I suppose one over here would be good as well. Maybe one right there. Too bad they don't get it from multiple um, whatchamacallits, stones, quarries, that's the word. I think we actually need to grow our population a little bit higher in some of these cities before we're able to place these districts down. Because we don't have a district slot. Oh, no, yeah, we do, actually. I also, I've also just chopped the wrong rainforest. Three more turns until our very last settler's out, and now we've just had everything blow up. <laughs> Not literally everything, but quite a bit has blown up now. We gotta have like a permanent builder on standby. We're now at war with Japan um, because of alliances. We shall not see so hopefully we don't get absolutely necked by Japan. Um, what do we want? We have we we haven't finished our settler yet, but that's fine. What else do we want? We want craftsmen definitely. Um, do we need anything else really? We don't really need that much. Let's, let's run Machiavellianism, I guess. And, um, hmm, what seems good? What seems good? I guess just surf them. We are building a lot of builders. Being able to get some extra build charges will definitely be nice. We really need to improve tiles in the capital. We have all this unimproved space. <laughs> the capital is only size two. Not exactly making the best use of Pingala right now, but. Probably should have moved him out a long time ago, but that's okay. Hindsight is twenty twenty, as they say. Actually, this is technically better if I move it here instead. That way I can put mine, so that way this become they both become plus threes if I do that. Could put down a dam. Mm, I don't really want to. More builders! We just want builders everywhere at this point, honestly. And we finished our very last settler. Let's repair our campus. Are we at least doing well in like great general points or engineer, I mean? Yeah, it looks like we're actually leading in those. We still haven't gotten any, we haven't gotten any great science. We took the Vine Spark this game. I guess it probably has replaced our Pantheon in a lot of the cities just because we are, we've been converted. Since we actually don't have a religion. All right, let's get a builder in the capital as well. Actually, I'll just send this guy over. Well, I'll fix this stuff first, but then I'll send them over. Let's get some libraries, maybe some granaries and stuff. I don't know. Get more universities out. So we actually are. We're getting to the point where we're we're no longer last in science. It's obviously very good. I hear horsemen clopping around somewhere. <laughs> Directly after we fix it, it blows up again. Directly after we fix it. I mean, I don't know what else I'm expecting at this point in this game. We're not even playing in Apocalypse mode, but everything's just blowing up anyways. It's like, you know what would just be absolutely great? We just trolled a sexy gamer the whole time. Just absolutely meme the man. Okay, well, it's fixed again. 
only to blow up in two more turns. We should get down some entertainment complexes as well. We are having a little bit of a loyalty problem. I feel like we've been really lacking on era score this whole game as well, haven't we? Fix our workshop. All right, we finished industrialization, which means it's factory time. Sips Co. Dirt Factory time is what it is. So this has actually been about three weeks since the last recording session. I started recording this game at like, I don't even remember, the end of September right after the Gaul came out. And then I just, I don't know, I absolutely forgot about the game and uh, now here I am. But at the time that I upload this, it's going to seem like there's been no time at all that's passed. So uh, that's how it is. So got to try to remember what was going on in this game. And I've learned a few things about Gaul in the meantime that were helpful because I realized... I think in the last episode I was previously talking about how you only get the adjacency from one quarry, uh, but that's not true. You get it from both uh, because, I don't know, I was just making that up or something. Just absolutely wrong. But luckily it looks like we've planned things out still fairly well with everything in mind. So we should be good to just keep building stuff as is. I don't think we really have to change anything. The only thing I want to put here is a pin for another opium here, probably for uh, Lissu. Lissu, I don't know. How do you pronounce this city? Because this is going to be a plus six because two, uh, two stones and a horse as well. That's a lot of good extra production. So what were we doing? We were building mausoleums, so that way we're going to get those great engineer charges. Uh, this is a decent great engineer. Are we working our way towards Roar Valley? Because we should be. Uh, that's right, Roar Valley was already taken, wasn't it? Was that the issue? Did somebody build Roar Valley already? I'm pretty sure somebody already has. Oh, no, somebody hasn't. Uh, what city do we want Roar Valley in? I think just our capital. Do we? Can you put Roar Valley on floodplains, though? Uh, I don't know if you can. Roar Valley, Roar. That's the one. Must be built along a river adjacent to an industrial zone. It sounds like you can put it on floodplains, which would mean that we could put it right here. Assuming that that is indeed true, which means we're going to need a workshop and a factory here. So after we finish repairing our library, or is that we're just building a library there, uh, then we'll be able to get that down. So we will. We will indeed be doing that, I think, because Roar Valley is very good for science victory. Aside from that, I think we want to kind of get over here to some of these bottom techs. Kind of just work our way along. Actually, we'll get the banking first. And then over here in Lesu, uh, the city is freshly founded as well. So maybe we just need a builder. Get out some tile improvements and hopefully things will be good on that front. Our military is also a bit outdated now, but it's not too much of a problem because... Worst thing that we're going to have to do is possibly defend against Dido, who is currently ransacking Babylon right now. <laughs> but, you know, hopefully she won't even attack us. I really hope that she doesn't take Babylon because we are their suzerain, so we're getting a bit of extra science from having them there. So I really hope that she doesn't successfully kill them. We also might want to chop some of these woods and stuff and put down some farms for this city. This city could definitely kind of use it, I think. And I guess let's just get a factory. How's our culture doing? Our culture is not bad, but it's also not great. Let's let's take two turns to build a monument. It's free culture, pretty much. And yeah, let's start getting some farms down over here for this city. And we definitely want to start building the factory in the capital. Honestly, probably some farms over here as well. So we need to get the workshop first. How much does it cost to buy a builder? Five thirty-five. Too expensive. Um, we could get another opium over here. That's a plus three. Could also plus two it up there. I guess the plus three is just worth it. And this city as well does kind of need some farmland. Well, Jerusalem's pretty good on food, so we can we can uh, lumber mill that one instead. He wants a joint war on Dido, but I'm going to say no to that because I don't really want to go to war right now. I'm fine, you know. Being Ambiorix, I'm now fine. Literally just turtling up for the rest of the game until I eventually can just uh, win a science victory. So I think we want to get the chemistry, honestly, quite fast. I don't know if we want to rush it quite so fast, but let's definitely let's get the scientific theory as like a starting point there. And we will build a uh, factory over here. Put down some farms as well. Prove this amber. How are we? We're not doing well on amenities, but can we trade anything with anybody? He already has cotton, so he's not going to want to trade. Um, would you give me nine gold per turn? Is actually probably worth. Oh, and okay, we just asked for an embassy, I guess, <laughs> or let him build an embassy. 
Or you know what I mean. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe not. Poor Babylon. I mean, luckily they're attacking it with, like, archers. Uh, we're at war with people through... Through alliances. So we're at war with Matthias and... Hojo now. I don't think that really matters for anything. Let's send some envoys somewhere. Maybe to K Kaguana? I mean, Akkad's good, but I don't think we really need them. Let's go to Kaguana. Coupe, do you have anything we can trade? You already have Amber. We have four Amber. I'll say he's not going to give me anything. Does the Ottomans have any Amber? They do not. They don't really want it, though. Dido, do you have any Amber? Uh, she doesn't have Amber either. Ten gold per turn? Yeah, that's worth. It's definitely worth it to trade away as many of those extra copies of your luxuries as you can. Because as we know from the Amenities In-Depth video, we're not getting any extra amenities actually from having extra luxuries like that. Alright, let's put down these things over here. Let's get some workshops out. Ah, uh, I'm a dummy. We can't put an opium there because <laughs> it's one dial away from the city. Um, that's not really any big deal. So we can get... Wait. No, we needed that one. We can do that one. Oh, we can't put one there either, though. I am a bit of an idiot, I think. Hmm. I'm a special kind of stupid. <laughs> Alright, who do we want to have the really good one, though? Let's maybe, let's, let's give one of the, uh, let's maybe give this guy a city with a very dirty name. Uh, so we'll build the opium for this city right here, I think. Think. Keyword being think. Let me, let me think if there's anywhere else that I would rather have it. So that will go to the other city. Actually, wait, right there is better. Or we could leave that to Lesu. Yeah, let's maybe leave that one for Lesu. Because it doesn't, Lesu doesn't really have other, like, many other sources of production. Still don't have a ton of gold per turn. 262. Oh, I wasn't paying attention to my era score, so hopefully we're okay here. We're in the Dark Age. I don't think it really matters. We don't have a lot of trade routes, so I think we go Heartbeat of Steam. Get a mine down, of course. Plop down one quarry. We really just need a lot of builders, don't we? I want to put, like, this, our capital is only size 5, which is really, really small. We got the complete on Mausoleum, though, which means we're going to get double charges on all of our great engineers, which are really good for some of the space race ones. Alright, you'll love to see that. Also, we're probably going to get this guy, which is going to help us build Roar Valley a little bit faster. Okay, let's produce a Potato McWhiskey. We could build the Venetian Arsenal. Eh? Eh? <laughs> I'm really glad I built a Venetian arsenal. The, I was I was in Potato McWhiskey's chat the other day, and somebody somebody in the chat called me the Stacy Gamer, and then Potato was just he was he was laying into me for being called the Stacy Gamer. He thought that was the funniest thing. It's like, bro, I ain't trying to be the Stacy Gamer. But you know what? If they want to call me the Stacy Gamer, sure. One in Rome, right? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. Try not to die to a volcano. Mm, we should probably improve the niter, just because we don't actually have any sources of niter currently improved. Uh, actually, let's bring this guy over to the capital instead and improve our food sources. In terms of policies, I think we want to get the civil engineering here. And so, yeah, let's let's keep our let's keep going on the trek towards the research labs. Let's go to Agra, just because that's the best best gold trade route. And we successfully stole gold, which is really good. I guess we'll go linguist there. Make it a little bit easier to complete our missions in a speedy time. Should also check out our policies. We might want to change them. Uh, okay, we got the great, uh, the wonder production great guy. Great lad. Can we purchase a factory? Nah, too expensive. We need to renew our alliances as well. So I'm pretty sure we had economic with you. And with Coupe, I don't really remember what we had. I'm just going to say research, because that sounds about right. And then with the Ottomans, declare friendship, and let's maybe try to get military. That sounds like the ones that I would generally probably get. Don't really know for sure, though. 
Aw, oh, man, that farm flooded. We just fixed that thing, too. Okay, luckily it didn't kill the farm, so we can still go and repair it. I think we just want to get factories just, like, everywhere. Coal power plants as well, perhaps. One thing I should put down is an entertainment complex somewhere. Maybe, like, right here? The real use of this is a pretty good spot for one. That'll affect a lot of cities. Let's just build another coal power plant. We could honestly probably get a harbor here. Harbors are a little bit bad on this civ because normally harbors get two adjacency from being next to a city, but obviously you can't put things adjacent to the city on this civ, so kind of ruins the effect of them effectiveness of them a little bit, but not too bad. Oh man, we stole gold again already. That was fast. So I'm actually gonna buy. Wow, well, we need to move this guy out of the city first, but I'm gonna buy a builder here. We can chop, replace some things with mines, build more workshops. Um, let's improve some of these tiles, I guess. We don't really need to improve that many. We could build Mont Saint Michel, which is, I mean, not really useful. <laughs> I don't really want Taj Mahal either. I mean, that's, those are some good food tiles, though. A dam would be nice. Maybe we'll put it over here, though. Don't really know what to run in this city, honestly. When in doubt, get some builders. And in these cities, we're gonna chop and replace those with farms. Oh, let's give you a promotion first. Give him Ace Driver, that way he hopefully will not die. All right, over here in uh, this lovely city name, we can put down a plus six opium. That's pretty good. It's more than pretty good, actually. That's very good. Man, the yields for Mausoleum are always so nice. So over here, um, I think I am actually going to chop this forest. That'll just help us get to... That finishes the factory, and we can... Yeah, we can indeed build Roar Valley here. Do we want it there? Yeah, I think that's where we want it. So we can still good, get some good farms up there. And now we can just use Filippo Brunelleschi to help us out here. So I am going to chop this and replace it with a mine. The reason for that is because when you build Roar Valley, it gives it bonus production to mines, but not lumber mills. So it's more worthwhile to have mines than lumber mills in that case. And I mean, we obviously also just get a bunch of other bonuses from our mines. So we will be making quite a good use of that, hopefully. Coupe is just, he's running this settler through my land. Hey, uh, go away, World Congress. Actually, let's go Great Scientist. And minus 50% production. We have a good bit of Diplo favor, so we can put a few votes in each of those. Need a sip of coffee. I must say, I am not much of a coffee guy. I don't. I'm not sure what you guys think, Chat. I'm. I'm more. Much more so of a tea guy. The other thing is, I hate caffeine, so I will only drink decaf coffee or decaf tea. <laughs> I'm not sure if any of like any of you guys are like that as well, but I just I hate the feeling that that caffeine. You know, it makes you feel like jittery. At least it does for me. And I hate that feeling. So bad. So, it's only decaf for me. Use... Oh my god, Felipe Brunelleschi has three charges, actually. That's pretty sick. Um, okay, I'm also realizing that this was not the place to put this. We should have put it here. Because we would have gotten double adjacency from that. So, I've messed that one up. And the saddest part about that is, that was even pinned. So it's not like I just didn't realize it. Like, I, I had realized it a while ago and then just ignored it now this time. That's okay, though. Happens to the best of us. You know, I don't claim to be the best Civ player in the world. At least not all the time. Maybe only sometimes. All right, with this last charge... Oh, doesn't quite finish it. And over here, we finished our... We need an entertainment complex. I want to put one maybe, like, up here. I don't want to get rid of the farm, but I'm going to get rid of the farm anyways. Um, I guess let's just honestly run a, a thing of campus research grants. And let's get ancient walls. I'm, I always like to get ancient walls in my coastal cities. I'm sure I've probably said this in the last episode like 12 times, <laughs> but I always like to get ancient walls in my coastal cities just in case anybody comes up and, you know, has like a, I don't know, a caravel or something and they just try to two-shot my city because this only has 28 uh, city strength. Which reminds me, we should produce a crossbowman because that'll increase our city garrison strength. Because the city garrison strength is based on the strongest uh, ranged unit that you've created, I believe, is what it is. Or it might be, it might count melee units. I'm pretty sure it's the strongest ranged unit that you've built. So I don't believe that upgrading counts for it, but I could be wrong. We can we can take a look here and, and see what happens. Um, ah, we can't get this over here. Does it matter if we put it here, though? 
One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we can build it in this city. The entertainment complex, that is. We'll go for that. Doesn't particularly matter to me which city it's in. Hey, we lost Susan Ship of Babylon. That's a no-no. Oxford's not like great wonder, but it's not bad. Like if I can build it, you know. This also finished Roar Valley for us, so that's very good. Well, we hopefully will be getting a lot of extra production in this city now. So this this is one of like the key wonders for science victory if you're going for science victory, just because of the amount of extra production it gives you. Because you just get flat 20% extra production, I think it is, and then also you get extra production on all of the mines in the city. Alright, that guy is now a master of siphoning funds. We're up to 46 production in the city. That's actually not... I mean, it's good, but it's not that high. But as we put down more mines, things will obviously be getting better. Or Valley also, honestly, maybe have been... Would have been better in this city. How many mines do we have here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How many do we have over here? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, it's actually equally equally good in either city. We can actually wait. We can't swap that tile, I guess. So it's only six, but still. One, two, three. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have vertical integration on Magnus just yet, but we're definitely going to go for it. We could build Kilwa, but I don't know. There's a lot. I'm surprised that not more wonders have been taken. And as I mentioned, let me test this. Let's see if finishing this crossbowman will increase the garrison strength in all of our cities. I believe that it should, but I'm not 100% certain. So we shall see. Um, we're not doing the best on science. We're not doing, we're not doing bad, but we're not like super up there. Ah, yes, my favorite song. All right, we've hit our first pop ten city. Just kind of sad that it's taken us this long to hit a pop ten city, but you know. Um, we also we need to put a quarry here because we're not getting like any good adjacency. Oh no, we're still getting four. How are we getting four on that? Uh, that's not a great deal, but how are we getting four production on this open? Oh, it's oh, there's an adjacent strategic resource that I can't see. Okay, well that's better then. And then it's doubled because I have the policy card. I don't think that this increased. Yeah, that definitely did not increase my city garrison strength. So either that or, or no. We, we, no, we definitely have produced crossbowmen before, which is why it did increase it. That's why. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I feel a natural obligation to build a Venetian arsenal. Just take low key shots at Potato McWhiskey. <laughs> it's just low key though. Low key. We do it out of love. There is no hate for Potato McWhiskey. In fact, I love him. This is my confession. Uh, let's also fix this farm. Could get a dam here. Get us a little bit of clean energy. Alright, let's go for the coal power plant though, just for the extra production. We need more amenities. We need to trade somebody or something. I really haven't been exploring this game, so wait. How many people? One, two, three, four, five, six. There should be one other player in the game because we're playing on standard size. And let's get down yet another opium. We make, oh my god, we make 26 great engineer points per turn. That's pretty good. Hey, 
that's pretty good. Is there anywhere else that we can steal that's better for stealing gold? 192, 108. The answer to that question is definitively no. Oh, I want to choose mission here. Steal me some gold. 